Hello everyone! Today we'll have a new lesson about Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering or BSCPE. Computer engineering exists at the intersection of technology and innovation. A dynamic professional field, computer engineering offers varied career paths in both hardware engineering such as microprocessors and software development each which drive computing advances in industries ranging from aerospace to healthcare. The following guide provides a high-level overview of computer engineering, including a look at different degree and career paths, related skills and technologies, earning potential, and employment outlook. For the program overview, the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, or BSCPE, is a five-year program that is a combination of electrical engineering and computer science. The curriculum provides students with a foundation in basic science, mathematics, software, and engineering. It covers topics on how to design a microprocessor and develop embedded systems that are used in test tops or handheld devices. The program also equips students with the ability to analyze, plan, design, install, operate, and maintain digital devices, computer hardware, and software systems. Computer engineering blends together computer science and electrical engineering to further advancements in digital technology, computer networking, and computer systems. In turn, Computer engineers use their extensive knowledge of hardware and software design and computer programming to make computing platforms and applications more efficient and effective. Seamlessly integrating the latest innovations, computer engineers develop new computer hardware design and implement software applications and enhance the capabilities of networks and communication systems. Computer engineers work with hardware and software, ensuring that the two are seamlessly integrated and functioning properly. Computer engineers focus on innovation, making the computing systems safer, faster, and more powerful. At the career level, there are two main avenues, hardware and software engineering. Hardware engineers focus their skills on computer systems and components, designing microprocessors, circuit boards, routers, and other embedded devices. On the software side, these engineers create test and debug programs and applications that run on computers, mobile devices, and more. Just as many career options for those who wish to enter the computer engineering profession, from robotics to wireless networks and operating systems to aircraft design, there is a specialization for any interest. Example employers for computer engineers include research laboratories, technology manufacturers, semiconductor companies, and digital consulting firms. For the recommended senior high school strand, students who wish to pursue a degree in computer engineering are encouraged to take the information and communication technology strand. The strand equips students with basic topics on illustration, web design, animation, technical drafting, and computer programming. Let's talk about the competencies. These are the competencies of taking Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Design a system component or process to meet desired needs within realistic constraints such as economic, environmental, social, political, ethical, health and safety, manufacturability, and sustainability in accordance with standards. Next is design and conduct experiments as well as to analyze and interpret data. Also apply knowledge of mathematics and science to solve complex engineering problems. Identify 
formulate and solve complex engineering problems, communicate effectively, deliver knowledge of contemporary issues, function on multidisciplinary teams, understand engineering and management principles as a member and leader in a team to manage projects in multidisciplinary environments, understand the impact of engineering solutions in a global, economic, environmental, and societal context. Another are use techniques, skills, and modern engineering tools necessary for engineering practice, understand professional and ethical responsibility, engage in lifelong learning. So let's proceed to the steps to becoming a computer engineer. With a growing insatiable desire for technological advancements, both by businesses and consumers alike, the need for trained, skilled, and qualified computer engineering professionals seems to know no bounds. Becoming a computer engineer requires an extensive college education that can take from four to seven years to complete. In the first two years of a bachelor's degree program, students typically finish computer engineering prerequisites and general education courses. The last two years focus on foundational classes in computer science, electrical engineering, and mathematics. Students typically study software, hardware, networking, and security. Many employers prefer engineers with advanced degrees, which means two more years of master's degree work to qualify for those jobs. Finally, if professional goals include applied research or an career in academia, a PhD in computer engineering may be the answer. So here are the steps to become a computer engineer. First, earn an associate degree, optional two years. Second, earn a bachelor's degree, four years with an associate degree. Third is the advanced study, optional but sometimes required for hardware engineers and specialize and get certified. So for the first steps to becoming a computer engineer as an earn an associate degree, first students who desire a direct entry training program or cannot attend a four-year program initially, then an associate degree program in computer science or related IT field of study at a community college or trade school can be a solid first step. Some community college students can save on tuition while completing their general education requirements because tuition at the schools is sometimes more affordable than at four-year schools. In addition, students should ensure the courses they complete in their two-year associate degree program will transfer to a four-year bachelor's degree program. Next, the earn a bachelor's program or four years without an associate degree. Typically, most employers expect software engineering professionals to have at least a bachelor's degree. While companies hiring hardware engineers traditionally seek applicants that hold a master's degree. Bachelor's degree programs allow students to complete it a complete comprehensive education in while concentrating their studies in either hardware or software specializations. For example, an electrical engineering program with an emphasis in computer engineering is appropriate if you want to work with microprocessors and high-speed circuitry. For those considering a career in software engineering, they may want to pursue a general computer engineering degree or a software engineering degree. Other applicable undergraduate majors include mathematics and computer science. When choosing a program, be sure it is certified by the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology or ABEP. For the advanced study, while graduates may find an entry-level software engineering job with a bachelor's degree, better paying positions and software management jobs typically call for a master's degree. Hardware engineers usually return to college for postgraduate work. 
Those who want to rise to leadership or management roles pursue Masters of Business Administration or MBA degrees with a technology focus. Pay increases are often pegged to ongoing education and engineers are inquisitive enough to want to stay abreast of technological advances. In many cases, your employer may contribute to ongoing education fees. A doctorate can be an advantageous degree for engineers who want to teach at the university level or conduct advanced research at the university-sponsored laboratory. Engineers with a PhD in information technology can advance to management workplace roles such as IT strategist, ship and technology officer, or ship information officer. And for the specialize and get certified, computer engineers can work as general problem solvers or they can focus on one aspect of their career. For hardware professionals, continuing education in software development can be beneficial and vice versa. As the fields are continually evolving, job candidates will want to go where the opportunities exist. Specialize but remain nimble. Some corporations may demand employees pursue advanced certifications in hardware or software systems offered by vendors. Certification exams are offered to benchmark skills for a prospective employer or advance in the company. They can be an essential part of the job search arsenal. Popular certification categories include Microsoft Systems Administration or MCSA, Cisco Network, Wireless and Voice, Project Management, and VMware. So let's proceed to the computer engineering degree options. Computer engineering degrees are available in both campus and online formats and range from two-year associate degree programs to advanced graduate study at the doctoral level. Instruction varies from the career specific, such as an associate degree in electronics technology, to research-focused PhD programs in digital signal processing. Each academic step offers students the opportunity to not only enhance their existing skill sets, but also develop knowledge and skills in new or more specialized areas. On the next slide is an overview of the major types of computer engineering degrees. First, the associate degrees. At the associate degree level, prospective students can select from two educational paths, electronics and computer technology, or pre-engineering with a computer and electrical engineering emphasis. An associate in electronics and computer technology offers career-focused curriculum that allows students to either continue their studies at the bachelor's degree level or pursue entry-level employment opportunities after graduation. A pre-engineering degree, on the other hand, is aimed at students seeking to transfer to a four-year university to complete a bachelor's degree in computer engineering. Both options are designed to introduce students to fundamental principles in computer engineering and electronics design, including programming, communications and networking, electronic systems, computer hardware and software, electronic systems, instrumentation and maintenance and repair. For example, students may take classes in subjects such as computer architecture, object-oriented programming, circuit theory, networking, and internet technologies and digital electronics. These programs can be completed in two to three years and typically require between 65 and 72 credit hours to graduate depending on the school and program. So these are the sample of the program for under the associate degrees. Networking and Internet Technologies, wherein it introduces students to networking fundamentals, including database concepts, client-server programming, and database design. So that 
computer engineering skills and knowledge gain, gain structured query language or SQL, internet applications, and relational databases. For the object-oriented object programming, it introduces students to the object-oriented design programming techniques, including different programming languages, data manipulation, and sorting. The computer engineering skills and knowledge gain are the object-oriented programming, data abstractions, C++ and Java, algorithm analysis, design, and implementation. For the data communication and networking, it introduce, introduces students to the fundamentals of data communications, networking, and the internet. And the computer engineering skills and knowledge gain are data security, signal processing, TCP or IP communication, internet protocol or IP, and client server API. And for the C++ programming, it introduces students to C++ programming language and focuses on effective approaches to design and coding. The computer engineering skills and knowledge gain are C++, functions, arrays, loops, and variables. So next for the computer engineering degree option is the bachelor's degrees. There are multiple degree formats at the bachelor's degree level, including the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Engineering or BSCSE, the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering or BSCE, and the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering Technology or BSCET. Although curriculum varies by program type, each features of a balanced approach to the study of computer engineering with an emphasis on the design, integration, and support of computer hardware, software, and network systems, typically requiring between 120 and 128 semester credits to complete. The curriculum is divided between general education and computer engineering classes. Broadly, students develop foundational technical skills by studying programming languages, databases, computer and network architecture, and electromechanical systems. For example, so specific areas of study in, include system software, digital integrated circuit design, microcomputer systems, and electrical and computer engineering design. Some colleges allow students to individualize their studies through program concentrations in software, hardware, and related fields such as robotics, web technologies, information assurance, and web design. So for the bachelor's degree, here are some of the topics like advanced programming, it is the broad study of the C language, in, including its structure, style, and operators. Students also receive an introduction to programming design in regards to solving problems. So the computer engineering skills and knowledge gain are problem definition and program design, algorithm programming, Unix, PHP, and C languages. For the embedded systems, it provides students with knowledge of the components of embedded systems, including assembly language programming, computer organization, and processing. And the computer engineering skills and knowledge gained are multi-threaded programming, assembly language programming, computer organization, and input or output interfaces. For the applied programming, it focuses on the study of computer programming design, including MATLAB environments that have applications to engineering problems. Then the computer engineering skills and knowledge gained are the MATLAB language and environment, input or output programming, top-down design, and mathematical operations. For the mobile application development, 
It provides students with an introduction to the fundamentals of mobile application, including platforms, design, and programming. And the computer engineering skills and knowledge gain are mobile application platforms, mobile application programming, mobile software development kits, user interface, memory management, and data storage. Let's talk about for the master's degrees. The master's degree in computer engineering is designed to prepare students for further studies at the doctoral level or for career advancement. Master's programs are available in both on-campus and online variants. Depending on their professional and educational goals, students may select from Master of Science in Computer Engineering or a Master of Engineering in Computer Engineering. Broadly, the Master of Science degree is a research-based program of study requiring students to complete independent research that culminates with a thesis project. The Master of Engineering is pro is professionally focused on program of study, one aim at allowing students to explore professional interests both within and outside of computer engineering. However, both types of master's degrees includes rigorous curriculum and allow students to concentrate their program in specialized areas such as hardware and computer architecture, computer communications and networks, Software Cybersecurity Students typically must complete between 30 and 33 semester credits to graduate, which usually equates to approximately two years of full-time study. So here are the pro subject of the master's degrees. Distributed Computing it builds upon students' understanding of distributed computing with an in-depth study of information processing. And the computer engineering skills and knowledge gain are distributed algorithms, resource allocation, and Byzantine agreement. About the advanced computer networks, focuses on the principles and protocols using network systems, including wireless, mobile, data center, and internet networks. The computer engineering skills and knowledge gain are complex network systems, network visualization, and mobility issues. For the computer architecture, it is an advanced study of the organization of computer systems, functionality, design, and performance. The computer engineering skills and knowledge gain are trends in processor and memory design, quantitative analysis, high-performance processors, and memory hierarchies. For the VS. LI design, the study of very large scale integration or VSLI, deals with emphasis on the design process and techniques for developing an integrated circuit consisting of thousands of transistors in a single microchip. For the computer engineering skills and knowledge gain, were the MOS transistors, VSLI design techniques, low power digital design, CMOS technology, and computer aided design. And how about for the doctoral degrees? Doctoral studies in computer engineering prepare students to pursue careers in applied research, academia, private industry, and the government. In addition to completing master's degree requirements, prospective PhD candidates must also complete an additional 32 to 36 semesters credits to graduate. Areas of study are traditionally determined by student interests and faculty research areas and may cover a multitude of aspects in computing theory, software, hardware, and computing applications. Research examples range from nanotechnology to bioelectrical engineering, mobile computing to bioinformatics. Earning a Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Engineering traditionally culminates with a research examination 
comprehensive examinations, a dissertation, and successful defense of the dissertation before a graduate committee. And here are some of PhD level skills such as technical competence, effective communication, research, and problem solving. For the technical competence, PhD students should demonstrate technical expertise in their field of study in a variety of contexts, whether in software or computer hardware design, systems integration, electronic design, integration, networking, and security, or embedded systems. For the effective communication, PhD students develop an ability to communicate the research results effectively, both to scientific and non-scientific audiences. In other words, students should be able to convey complex technical materials through both oral and written presentations that adapt to the standards of the audience or publication. How about research? PhD students should be able to define the scope of and conduct independent research, as well as identify, review, evaluate, and apply information from research publications in their subfield of study in computer engineering. And last for the PhD level skills is the problem solving. For it, PhD students should be adept at integrating their advanced expertise with new knowledge in order to solve complex engineering problems, whether in computer hardware or software engineering. And additional for the computer engineering degree option is the online computer engineering degrees and schools. Online learning affords students a convenient way to complete a computer engineering degree. Through online programs, students can gain industry-specific skills and prepare themselves for real-world professional success. The major benefit for most students considering an online program is convenience. However, not all online degree programs are equal. There are three factors students should keep in mind when researching online degree programs in this field. First, the ABET Accreditation, the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology Incorporation, or ABET, is the central accrediting body for computer engineering programs. Students should ensure their selected program is accredited by ABET to ensure quality. ABET reviews multiple criteria of computer engineering programs, including curriculum, student performance, student outcomes, faculty, facilities, and resources. Accreditation is a primary indicator of quality and value. It demonstrates the program adheres to national recognized standards and produces graduates that are prepared for career success. Next is the faculty experience and professional background. The quality of a program and subsequent student success is determined largely by the caliber of the department's faculty and instructors. For a computer engineering program, especially online programs, students should review each faculty member's background, education, and professional experience. Because of the grid specialization within this field, Students should seek out programs where faculty members have real world of research experience in their field of interest, such as nanotechnology, software engineering, or embedded systems, and so on. Next is the specializations and breadth of instruction. The goal of completing a computer engineering degree is to equip the graduate with skills that aligned to the specific needs of today's technology industries. Prospective students should review the curriculum of each potential program to ensure they are provided with fundamental instruction in both electrical engineering and computer science. Secondly, students should examine the progression of learning. Are they introduced to both the software and hardware aspects of computer systems? Is there a strong emphasis on hands-on learning activities in a laboratory 
or through student-led engineering projects? Can students concentrate their efforts in a particular area of study, such as embedded digital systems, personal computers, or networking? Let's discuss about the components of a successful career as a computer engineer. First is the computer engineering skills. According to the National Workforce Center for Emerging Technologies, computer engineers should have a blend of soft employability skills in addition to technical knowledge. These soft skills include critical thinking, communication, and project and time management. Computer engineers should be detail-oriented, analytical, excellent problem solvers, and able to identify, analyze, and craft solutions to complex problems. As a cross-functional position, computer engineering requires individuals be strong communicators and able to work closely with other colleagues and clients. Because of the ever-evolving nature of technology, computer engineers should pursue professional development in their area of concentration whether it is biomedical engineering or automotive engineering. Next is the computer engineering credentials. Professional certifications and credentials in computer engineering complement and build upon the knowledge and skills developed during a degree program. The intent of advanced credential is to demonstrate technical proficiency in a certain aspect of the computer engineering profession. Generally speaking, there are three types of computer engineering certification. The vendor specific, the vendor neutral or third party, and general. Here is an example of each type of certification. First is the Professional Software Engineering Master Certification, sponsored by the IEEE Computer Society, a membership-based organization for computer science and technology professionals. The Professional Software Engineering Master Certification consists of proficiency certificates in 12 knowledge areas, such as software engineering quality, software engineering construction, software engineering management, and two advanced module examination. Another computer engineering credential is the Cisco Certified Network Professional Wireless or CCNP Wireless. Sponsored by Cisco, the CCNP and wireless designation demonstrates the technical expertise of professionals in wireless networking principles, design, implementation, installation, and operation. The certification consists of four examinations, implementing Cisco Unified Wireless Networks, implementing Cisco United Wireless Mobility Services, implementing Advanced Cisco Unified Wireless Security, and conduct in Cisco Unified Wireless Site Survey. Next is the ARM Accredited Engineer or AAE. Sponsored by ARM, a semiconductor IP company, the AAE certification is designed for individuals working with embedded software and system software using ARM technology. A 70-question examination test Individuals on ARM architecture, system, software optimization, software development, software debugging, and implementation. Next is the Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert or MCSE. It is sponsored by Microsoft. The MCSE certification is designed for IT and engineering professionals working with both on-premise and cloud-based computing systems, including business intelligence, server infrastructure, messaging, device management, desktop infrastructure, and more. And 
Then, the cert Certified Computer Security Incident Handler or CSIH is sponsored by the Software Engineering Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. CSIH certification is designed for individuals working in networking administration and security. An advanced practice designation, CSIH requires professional experience, application fees, and a successful passing score of the CSIH examination. How about the computer engineering tools and technology? Computer engineers should possess a professional toolbox that contains both technical and soft skills. Major knowledge areas in the field include engineering technologies, mathematics, networking, computer programming, computers and electronics, and product development. Technical knowledge includes the use of a range of tools and software, including the following. Circuit testing. It is a circuit memory tester, logic analyzer, digital analysis systems, measurements such as logic probes, probe stations. Network analysis such as traffic generators, communications analyzers. Signal generation such as pattern generators, function generators, and universal source generators. Next is analytical software such as Cadence Dracula SAS software. Next, computer aided design software such as Allegro software and Cadence concept. Another example is the development environment software such as Microsoft Visual Basic, C and System Verilog, and the operating system software such as Linux and Unix. Let's talk about the career opportunities of BS Computer Engineering. Graduates of Computer Engineering may pursue a career path in various development and manufacturing companies or government agencies that need specialized computer engineering services. They may apply for roles such as software developer, test engineers, computer programmer, support specialist, robotics control systems engineer, electrical designer, quality assurance manager, systems analyst, project engineer, network systems administrator, data communications engineer, systems engineer, systems analyst, technical support engineer, technopreneur, quality assurance engineer, and computer engineering professor. So that's all the discussions about the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering or BSCP. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.